Good evening, Ingrid. Good evening, teacher. How is everything there? Are you ready to start with the class? I hope you are ready. Now, Gabriela is just getting into the class. Claudia is getting into the class. I can see Maria Magdalena. Gabriela, Claudia, hello. Good evening, Gabriela. Claudia, hello. Let's wait a little bit for the rest. It's almost eight o'clock. I can see Dalila, Dalila, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Okay. Good evening, Aristides. Good evening. Are you meal? I can see Liana, Crisia. Well, eight people got connected. We're going to start in a minute. It's eight o'clock. I can see Dalia. Hello, Dalia. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. So I can see Eliana. Okay, meanwhile, the rest of the people get connected. Let us see something that you have just learned lately, right? Recuérdense, la primera pregunta es, hey, ¿qué has aprendido últimamente acerca del segundo idioma? Esa es mi pregunta de inicio. So I will start with, um, with María Magdalena. Hello, María. What's new? Hello. I, I learned the new verse in the three grammatical dance. For example, uh, Buy, bought, bought, drink, drunk, drunk uh, begin, began, begun, bread, bread, bread. Great, great info, Maria. I can see that you are in, you are in increasing your, your vocabulary. Yes, you will see yes. sooner or later you're going to use it. Yes. Okay, thank you very much. Just be sure about pronunciation okay let's listen thank you maria i can see you are you are you are improving wendy beatriz what's new what happened to sorry. wendy sorry i moved Teacher, okay um, i learned in this week for example um the, um, to say the past in the best form. For example, we, um, for example, 
to bird and pass using used to or was where after I no remember when used the position that today I I suppose to I use it well. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. Just to and simple pass. Great. I like it. Lourdes, good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Aha, uh -huh. what's new? What have you learned about English? Surprise the group. Sorprendan al grupo, okay? Con algo nuevo que han aprendido en inglés. Um, teacher, I don't learn this weekend because we were outside San Salvador with my family. Uh, it was impossible for you to learn something. Uh -huh. Okay. See. Okay. <laughs> All right. Cesar. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I have I have learned about the uh, the difference uh, to ask to ask uh, to ask uh, <clears throat> with the with the words with the with the words questions which and um, what. All right. And what did you learn? And we we're gonna use with when we have options, and we wanna use what when we we don't have options. All right, thank you. Hey, you see, basic basic information, but we have to learn it, right? So, so maybe it's something that we didn't study deeply when we were in basic, but now is the time, you know. Every single time you decide to study something, it's because that is the right material that you will that you need to study. Ileana. Ileana Molina. Hello. Hello. Teacher. Hi. Well, uh, last week uh, I learned, well, I mean, I was practicing a lot uh, past participle that I think that is the most difficult, uh, like uh, the most difficult uh, topic that I have learned until now. All right. And I was practicing that during the weekend. Can you mention like at least five verbs in the past participle form? Sorry, I didn't listen, teacher. Okay. Can you mention a couple of verbs that you have learned? Uh, like uh, written, spoken. I mean, th these are not the ones that I, these ones are the ones that I uh, I remember right now. Uh, mm -hmm. Like a written, spoken, and chosen, told, and driven, I think. All right, very good. Spoken, written, etc. All right. Thank you very much. I can see that you've been studying. Uh, let us listen to yeah. Congrats, actually. Uh, I'm really glad to know that you are quite interested in learning. At least it is. Surprise the group with something that you've learned. Hello, uh, guys. I had learning new words and rules. For example, who to, who to use tense. Also, the importance of the new language for the future, and uh, in most coming to daily learning to achieve achieve it, it. To achieve it. All right. Very good. So thank you very much, Aristides. Thank Let's you. see, Crisia. Good evening. Hi. Hi. Good evening. Uh, well, um, this weekend really I don't, I don't learn nothing new, you, but you did I it. try. I, I did. I uh, didn't. 
uh, learned something new, but I tried to do the homework for the Wednesday. All right. So you were very, very busy doing the home, uh, creating the project, right? That you will present this coming this coming Wednesday, right? Hey, yes. remember this week is the last week for Intermediate English 1. Later, you're going to get into a higher level of English. Okay, so this is the time for you to work, for you to work, for you to work a lot, to learn a lot, to study a lot, to think in English all the time, to dream in English, to sing in English, to wake up thinking in English. Now, now is the time. Hoy es el tiempo de intermedio, ¿ok? Intermedio es una fase que algunos consideran muy difícil, pero en realidad es la más hermosa. Intermedio es la fase más, bueno, es la que yo considero es la más hermosa. Y ya cuando uno ya, ya sale de un nivel de... Que uno ya puede hablar hasta una hora en inglés. Wow, eso es, eso es, es genial. Ver esos avances. Ok. But that was quite good. So, on Wednesday, you are going to surprise us, Crisia. And thank, I hope, I hope so. <laughs> thank for remembering that this coming Wednesday, you have something special. Este miércoles tienen una actividad especial. Nos van a demostrar que tanto y que también han aprendido en este mes. All right, ese es el propósito. Now, how checklist attendance? Then we're going to study, uh, be going to structures. I know that you have studied that in the past, but I want to make sure that, well, mm, to have a review about it. Uh, Alejandra, Aristides. Prese. Carlos David. Prese. Cesar. Present teacher. Claudia Margarita. Is Claudia Margarita here? Concepción. I'm here. Eh, Dalila. Present teacher. Elena. Present. Gabriela y Dalia. Present, teacher. I didn't listen to Gabriela. I don't know if Gabriela is here. Y Dalia is present. Eh, Ileana. Present, teacher. Ingrid. Present. Juan Carlos. Present teacher. Juan Carlos is over here. Crisia. I am here. Liliana. Maria. Maria Magdalena. Yeah, Maria Magdalena, exactly. Present. Olga Lisset. Rina Margarita and Wendy. Present teacher. Okay, Rina. All right, don't worry. At the end, I will check list attendance. The second time. Well, uh, hello. Uh, my attendance, I don't know. I didn't mention you, Elena. Yes, but no sé si me escuchó. Elena Marisol, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, thank you. I didn't listen to Gabriela, Rina, and Claudia Margarita. The rest? They wrote in the chat. Ah, really? Claudia Margarita, con Claudia Constanza. Uh -huh. uh, she said present in the chat. Claudia Mar all right, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. We appreciate it. Well, intermediate English one is just, it's almost gone, okay? So we only have this quick and, and we need to take advantage of every single aspect that we have been studying oh, so far, right? And in the, in the, in about the coming, the coming topics that we are, we need to 
where, for example, tonight we're going to study present per, I mean, present, be going to structure. I don't know why I'm thinking about present perfect. Last time we were studying present perfect, right? And simple path. But this, this week, everything will be about future. Okay, so we're going to start talking about future. Hey, teacher, but future is so easy. We already know about about be going to and also about will. I know that you have studied that, right? But actually, we're going to study future with be going to and will. But I don't know, and I want to. I want to be sure that you, Liliana. Okay, Liliana, I will try to remember. Okay, uh, that you know or that you are quite familiarized with the way to use be going to structures, okay? We're gonna see this, this video yet because this video is about a future with be going to and with. No, I, I just want to start with some grammar related to be going to, okay? So, but, well, I have a, one conversation over here in order to introduce the topic, okay? I don't know if you are able to see the info. Well, I will stop sharing because I don't remember if I share that the audio. Yeah. Over here. And we have like two or three conversations over here in which we're gonna see like uh the structures about Bitcoin too. Hey, uh, what do you think? Bitcoin is quite easy. Está fácil el tema de Bitcoin too. Ya lo estudiaron. Hello. Hi. Teacher. My so, case, I studied that. You already okay. studied that, right? So, ¿ya identificamos los diferentes usos de Bitcoin to? Oh, bueno, vamos a ver qué es lo que trae la información que he buscado para ustedes. Let's see. Conversation. Conversation one. What are you going to do for summer break? I'm going to study Spanish in Spain. Nice. Where are you going to study? I'm not going to take any classes. I'm just going to live there and learn the language. Good idea. You're going to learn a lot. I hope so. I'm going to really focus on learning Spanish naturally. Every day I'm going to try to talk to as many people as I can. Okay, I need conversation to two. <laughs> when are no, you going? No, no, conversation number one, please. Aristides and, and Claudia Margarita, read it, please. What are you going to do for summer bread? Margarita. What are you going to do for summer break? Is Margarita going to be a listener tonight? Well, let us try with somebody else. Dalila, please. Hi, I'm going to study Spain in Spain. Nice. Where are you going to study? I'm not going to take in class. I'm just going to like there and learn the language. Good idea. You're going to learn a, learn a lot. I hope so. I'm going to really focus on learning Spanish natural every every. They are going to try to talk to as many people as can. All right, we'll play once again. So that I can make some. Study. <laughs> All right, so I will play once again. Lo voy a volver a poner. Y ustedes escuchan esas palabras que están ahí subrayadas, por favor. 
let's see. Was... Going to mail this. It's Spanish in Spain. Not do for summer break. Going to do for summer break. Going to do for summer break. Okay, now here we go. Hey, we're gonna do for summer break. So it's right there, right? So listen. Break. I'm going to study break. Spanish in Spain. Nice. Where are you going to study? I'm not going to take any classes. I'm just going to live there and learn the language. Good idea. You're going to learn a lot. I hope so. I'm going to really focus on learning Spanish naturally. Every day, I'm going to try to talk to as many people as I can. As many people as I can. Now, how, what is the way you listen to this, this uh, word? Break. Break. Yeah. Now, how Break. do you read the whole statement? Break. What, what are you going to do for summer? summer break? What are you going to do for summer break? What are you going to do summer? For summer study. break. Study. Study. I was, I, I wanted to. I want you to to be clear about the way to pronounce this word, right? Study, study, study. study. All right. Study. So, and actually, underline it twice. And what about this? I'm. 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 I'm just going. I'm. I'm. I'm just. I'm. I'm just. I'm just. Idea. Idea. idea right. Very good. Good idea. 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 All right. Idea. Now let us listen to the second one. So I want you to. Why? Why did I? Um. Check the the. The transition now is because I want you to be clear about the way to pronounce number conversation number two also, right? I think there is no only two conversations, right? No more than that. Listen, listen once again. Conversation, conversation two. two. When are you going to mail this? It's due next week. I'm going to do it tomorrow when I go to the post office. How are you going to send it? By express mail or local mail? I'm going to send it by local mail. Why? It's going to take forever to get there. But it's still going to get there in time, and it's going to save money. Well, if it doesn't, you're going to regret it. Just relax. It's not going to be late. Trust me. All right. So that was the first. Trust me. Trust me. Yes. Let us listen to Juan Carlos and Crisia. When are you going to mail this? It is due next week. Are you going to do it tomorrow when I go to the post office? How are you going to send it? By express mail or local mail? I'm going to send it by local mail. Why? It's going to take forever to get there. But it's still going to get there in time and it's going to save money. Well, if it doesn't, you're going to regret it. Just relax. It's not going to be late. Trust me. Trust me. Thank you. Now, a great. Regret it. Come regret. Yeah. Okay. How do you pronounce how? this? How? 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 If it, if it, if, if it, if it doesn't, if it doesn't, regret it. Regret. Regret. Teacher. Regret. Teacher, este, cuando hay una, una, dos palabras que terminan en, en una consonante y la otra empieza con vocal, como que se unen, va. Y fit. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. If it. You don't say if, it. if, if, it. Sí, if, I mean, it, sí. it, it, it is possible to say it. Sí, se puede decir, pero en realidad en la, en, en la, en una conversación de la vida real, alguien no le va a decir, 
Well, if it doesn't, no. Mm. no well, if it doesn't, if it, oh. okay. So, y, y, excuse me, y a veces eso, en, en lo personal, a veces me confunde cuando alguien me habla algo rápido y yo digo que pienso que es una palabra. Eh, cuando lo hacen así, eh, eh, junto. Pero a veces uno se confunde para ver cómo eh, traducirlo. Entenderlo. Exacto, Juan Carlos. Por eso, por eso la importancia de practicarlo todos los días. O sea, inglés no es de un día sí, un día no, sino que es de todos los días. Porque entre más lo practiquemos, lo escuchemos, lo leamos, lo escribamos, mejor, eh, mejor van a ser nuestras destrezas en el segundo idioma. ¿Ok? Now, por ahí les compartí el, 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 el enlace por si alguien pues lo quiere um, practicar más. Aquí hay algo de going to. En realidad lo voy a leer un poco rápido porque tengo una presentación preparada. ¿Ok? We use this structure going to to talk about future plans or intentions. The words going to is often spoken as gonna. Esto es informal, miren. Gonna. Gonna. In natural speech, normally we do not use this form in written English. Question, what are you going to do? When are you going to get there or here? Who are you going to see? Where are you going to stay? Or are you going to do that? And how are you going to get there? We have affirmative statements. We have negative statements. We have just no questions. And we also have uh, double H questions like the one we have here, questions or double H questions, okay? Just for you to get familiarized, don't worry, okay? Now, is Katie going to take classes? According to what we, we heard? Yes, she no. is or no, she is not? No, she is not or she isn't. She's not, she's not gonna take classes. What is Katie going to do every, every day? Talk to people. Study with that. Ah, uh, no, no. Talk to people? Talk to people, she's gonna talk to people. How is Katie going to send email? By local mail. By local mail, what, what is going to happen? Um, it will be late. It will be late. Uh, she say money. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let us check it. They will say money. That was the answer, right? Just this one. Now, how is Katie going to send email by local mail? Good. Uh, what is Katie going to do every day? To talk to people. Is Katie going to take classes? No, she's not good. Good job. So I think we, we fail only in, in, in this one, in the number four, but that's okay. Now you, you have the link and you can go over it and see the video if you want. I didn't, I, I didn't share the video because, uh, because you know, right? It is impossible for us to do it. Uh, let me see, I will stop sharing this and we're gonna talk a little bit about different usage about uh, future we'll be going to. We'll be going to, we're going to incut a certain. Aguantar hasta el 28. Y no había tomado, no había tomado hasta el 30, 31. Ah, que estamos aquí. Hasta el, es el día. Hello, no Juan Carlos, tomado. Juan Carlos. Yo... Hola. Juan Carlos. You want to say something, Juan Carlos? No, Tizia, no, Tizia. Ah, ah, okay. Okay, guys, hey, the future will be going to, right? We already talked about the past. We already talked about present perfect. Now it's time to talk about future. And one of the structures that we, we're going to use is be going to. Going to. Structure to talk about future. But there is, you know, we have will. 
we have going to, we can also use present progressive. And sometimes it is possible to use present simple to talk about future. But now the topic is future would be going to. Now, going to is not a tense. It is a special structure that we use to talk about the future. What is the structure? We need subject plus the verb to be plus going to plus a base form of a verb. We have examples. This is the way you conjugate the, the, the be going to structure. And we have, for example, subject, I am going to buy a new car. You can contract it and say, I am going to go swimming. You, you know, actually the structure is like going to, going to, right? So you know that the structure is going to. Going to, going to, okay, and this two is the same, right? So, but but they included it in the infinitive part. I'm going to to buy. I'm going to go. I'm going to take. I'm going to. Uh, it's going to rain. Uh, are you going to paint, etc.? So, as you can see, we have it in positive statements. We have it in negative statements, negative like this one, contractive form. Okay, and we also have it in questions. So whenever you have a question, just let me know it, people. Now, but what is what about the usage? Well, esto es importante, miren. Seguramente se ya vieron Bitcoin too. Pero hay algunas cosas que todavía esconde el, este, esta, esta estructura. So, for example. We have like, we often use going to to make a prediction. Eso ya lo sabían, ¿verdad? Lo podemos usar para, para predecir. ¿Mm? But prediction about what? About the future. Our prediction is based on present evidence. So, esto es importante porque will también lo ocupamos para predecir, pero de una manera diferente. Now, we often use going to to make prediction about the future. Our prediction is based on present evidence. We are saying what we think will happen. Here are some examples. Okay, the sky is very black, very dark. It's going to snow, or it's going to rain. It's 8.30. You're going to miss your train. I crashed the company car. My boss isn't going to be very happy. In these examples, the present situation, black sky, the time damage car give us a good idea of what's going to happen. Now, are you clear about it? Yes. Yeah? Okay. Yes. So later we're going to see because we're going to practice, right? Now, in the next one, now, what will be the sentence over here? ¿Cómo iría esa oración? Ordenenla, por favor. No. You're going to it's, 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 it's the one that you told us it's day 30 you're going to miss the train 
it's 8.30. You are going to miss the train. Hey, it's 8.30. You're going to miss the train. Good. Now. Uh, notice that we can also use going to with the B uh, in other things. For example, I was going to tell him about, but I forgot I had been going to fix the car for ages. Going to, going to later. Uh, whenever you get to upper intermediate, I think you're going to study this. Hay algo que se llama futuro en, future in the past. Futuro en el pasado, okay? Es algo que aquí nada más les presentan la idea. Ya luego lo van a estudiar. Well, as, as I told you, subject, positive statement, I'm going to speak. I'm not going to speak. Question, am I going to speak? Second example, you with they, you are going to speak. You are not going to speak. Are you going to speak? Third person singular, he's going to speak. He's not going to speak. Or is he going to speak? It goes like that, right? What do you think the world is going to be like tomorrow? This is a question for you. What do you think the world is going to be like tomorrow? What do you think the weather is going to be? I I think tomorrow is is gonna is gonna be rain. I I think rain. tomorrow, I think tomorrow the weather. The weather is, uh, weather will be. Uh, actually, we're we're talking about going to is the weather is going to be rainy. Aha, uh -huh, but but as you yeah. noticed, Caesar Caesar included will. Aha, uh -huh, but we're gonna see the difference. Eso es lo que estamos tratando de, de diferenciar. ¿Por qué? ¿Pudiéramos usar will? Sí. ¿Significa lo mismo? No. Hay una, una pequeña diferencia. Hey, who do you think is going to win the, the Champions League this year? Barcelona Football Club. I think Real Madrid is going to be uh, win the champion. I I think the win is Manchester City. Okay. Okay, pretty good. Now, what are you going to do at the weekend? What are you going to do at the weekend? I go to the show. I'm going to work. Um, visit my family. I'm going to go to church. I'm going to visit my family. Uh -huh. I'm, going to, uh -huh. I'm going to visit my friends in oh. San Miguel, for example. Okay, quite good in San Miguel. Thank you, I'm Wendy. Going to the beach. And you are going to go to the beach. <laughs> I'm okay. going to go. Uh, where do you think you're going to go on vacation next? Sorry, teacher. Where do you think you're going to go on vacation next time? In my next, um, in my, in my next vacation, I'm going to, I'm going to go to. Termales de Alicante. All right. Yes. Uh, are you going to take... Crisis? Mexico. Ah, okay. Yeah. Lourdes. Lourdes and Crisis. Are you, you going to take the group with you? The English group? Including the teacher? Ah, okay. Oh. Okay, okay. I'm going to go. <laughs> Well, Let's go. I, just, I just said it, right? <laughs> okay, what do you think you're going to do after college today? After the English class, actually. Don't, don't, don't think about college, but 
What do you think you're going to do after the English class today? After the English class, I, <clears throat> I'm gonna, I'm going to sleep. You're gonna sleep. And, and, and before I going to do my homework. And before going to bed, you're gonna do your homework. All right. So something that tell me, tell me, Chrissy. Cuando ocupamos la contracción del gonna, siempre tenemos que decir el to, gonna to work, por decir no, así. So no, no, I'm, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna, I'm oh. gonna work, I'm gonna uh -huh. clean the house, I'm gonna, gonna. Oh. Gonna is like going to. Uh, literal but, contractar. Yeah, but that is, that is very, that is not formal, okay? Okay. So, it will, it, okay. Um, let me see. This some prediction. Yeah, this is the info that I want you to be clear. But esto es, esto es importante. Miren. Okay, it's a prediction about the future. Y si nosotros vamos a will, se van a dar cuenta que will también se usa para eso, para hacer eh, alguna predicción acerca. De algo. Pero ¿cuál es la diferencia? No sé si esto ya lo habían estudiado. No evidencia. Pero acá, ok, por ahí lo mencionaron. Hay present evidence que eso va a suceder. Por ejemplo, el cielo está oscuro. Va a nevar, dice acá, pero en el caso de nosotros podríamos decir va a llover. Es casi seguro que va a llover. ¿Por qué? Porque lo estamos viendo que ya viene, ¿ok? El bus, uh, it's 8.30, you're gonna miss your train, ¿ok? Es seguro que lo va a perder, casi seguro que lo va a perder, porque el bus sale a las ocho y media y él todavía no está preparado. Todavía no sale a esperarlo, el tren. Okay, I crashed the company car. Choqué el vehículo de la compañía. ¿Qué creen que va a sentir el jefe? No va a estar feliz. Es casi seguro. Okay, prediction. Oh, hay un ejemplo que a mí me gusta mucho. Que digamos ahí. Va un ancianito cruzando la calle y en medio de la calle hay una... Hay una algo ahí y él este um, se dirige hacia esa piedra o eso ese objeto y qué creen que va a pasar posiblemente se va a tropezar ok pero yo que lo estoy observando sé que posiblemente eso va a suceder ¿por qué? porque lo estoy viendo pero si yo digo por ejemplo Ahora en la noche y mañana. El sábado va a llover. O sea, eso ya no es going to, eso es will. Ok, porque ¿cómo sé yo que el sábado va a llover? O cómo, o sea, no hay nada que me respalde. Ok. Now let's see. We're gonna we're gonna solve some exercises. We're gonna get back to the this part. We're gonna solve this exercise. Okay, be going to plans and predictions. This is the first. Use the verse in brackets. This is, these are the verse in brackets. To complete these sentences with be going to affirmative or negative. Some book from the library today. Are you going to borrow some book from the library today? Some books from the library today. What about he? Not pay your money back. 
he is not going to pay your money back. Por qué going to y no will? Ya hubo una experiencia que no le puedo. Ah, ok. Posiblemente la persona que le está diciendo eso, esta, este, este muchacho posiblemente ya le quedó mal. Una vez <risa> se él dice, seguro que, que no te lo va a pagar. Hey, the drone is out of control. It... It's going to crash. They aren't playing uh, well. They not win the match. Not going to. Are going to win the match? Are going to not, not going to. to win the match. We have a picnic we tomorrow. We are going to, to have a picnic tomorrow. A picnic tomorrow. She fly to New York next week. She is she going to fly is... to New York next week. She is going to. Fly. She is going to fly the New York next to week. The New York next week. You can take the newspaper, not read it. I am. I'm not. I'm not going to not. read it. I'm not gonna read it. I need to tell something, but you, you are not going to believe me. You are not going to believe me. Look at the sun. It be a beautiful day. It is, it, going, to it is going to be a beautiful day. I not argue with you. I'm not going. To I'm not going to argue with you. With you. Well, we don't see the answers. Mm -hmm. Hey, actually, we got a ten people here. Pretty good. Now, questions with the topic tonight? No. No. Okay, so we have 15 minutes more. Vamos a hacer algo. Uh, el día de mañana voy con Will. Okay? Pero no quiero dejar atrás lo que es el presente simple y lo que es el, el um, presente progresivo. En, para hablar de futuro. Así que las señoritas, las damas, van a buscar información ahorita de presente simple, significado a futuro. Y los caballeros van a buscar información de presente progresivo, significado a futuro. ¿Cómo así? Bueno, presente simple se puede usar para hablar en futuro. Sí. Eso es lo que quiero que investigue. ¿Y cómo así, teacher? ¿El presente progresivo también se puede usar para hablar de futuro? Sí. Creo que ya lo estudiaron. Pero si no lo han estudiado, ok, vamos a descubrirlo ahorita. Tienen exactamente 10 minutos para buscar información. 
y que mañana nos la presenten con, ej con ejemplos. Chicas, presente simple, significado a futuro. Caballeros, presente progresivo, significado de futuro. Como se usa algunos ejemplos. Ok, porque no solo es willing, tampoco es solo going to. Mingua, you look for the information. Mientras busca la información, ahora sí, no. Voy a pasar el listado la segunda vez. Alejandra. Aristides. Present, Aristides. Carlos David. Present, teacher. Cesar. Present teacher. Claudia Margarita. Concepción de Lourdes. Present teacher. Dalila. Present teacher. Elena Marisol. I'm here. Gabriela Noemi. Y Dalia. Ileana. Present teacher. Ingrid. Present teacher. Juan Carlos. Present teacher. Crisia. Present. Liliana. Present. María Magdalena. Present. Olga. Present. Rina. Wendy Beatriz. Present teacher. Thank you. Let me see the chat. Claudia Margarita. Okay. okay. So still have five minutes more. No sé. Para... Hola, Carlos David. Yes, uh, I search the following information all right okay. i want the use the present continuous to refer to the future mm -hmm. uh, the present continuous is used to refer to plans or agreements about future events it carries the suggestion that more than one person in involvement in them and on some degree of prior preparation has already taken place. For example, I meeting Jim at the airport. Uh, I live in tomorrow. We're having, we're having a start meeting next Monday. Uh, only, only this. Bonitad, sorry. Okay, thank you, Carlos. Thank you. Still missing for some info, some more info.
So whenever you get some info, just raise your hand and share it if you have it now. Okay, Crisia. Right, present simple for a future. Uh, we can use these for three. Para, número uno para eventos de entretenimiento. Sí. For example, the movie starts in 15 minutes. The play begins at 9.30. Para transportes. The train arrives at 3.15. Uh, the bus comes in 5 minutes. O para planes agendados. We have a wedding on Saturday. I travel to Spain tomorrow. That's information. Great information. Now, si ustedes analizan los ejemplos que Chris ya compartió con presente simple, se van a dar cuenta de que nosotros cuando hablamos en español usamos esas estructuras muy a menudo. Ella, ¿a qué hora sale el bus, vos? ¿A qué hora sale el bus? No a qué hora va a salir o a qué hora saldrá, sino que utilizamos el presente simple. ¿A qué hora sale el bus? Mira ahí la boda, ¿a qué hora es? O el sábado. Si hoy es apenas lunes. Entonces, se usa presente simple, pero con significado a futuro. ¿Y la película a qué horas comienza? A las cuatro. Ah, sí, pero no decimos a qué hora va a comenzar o a qué hora comenzará. Entonces, en inglés, sucede que también ellos utilizan eh, las estructuras de esa manera. ¿Ok? Por eso me gusta como tomarme ese, ese tiempecito para hacer esas pequeñas aclaraciones que, quiera sí o no, nos van a servir. Nos van a servir para cuando hablemos. Uh, sí, porque a mí me hubieran preguntado por la cuestión de, de la hora. Por ejemplo, ¿a qué hora empieza la, la película? Yo hubiera dicho, it will, it will start at four. Ajá. So, si le preguntan en presente, si ve, hey, what time does the movie start? ¿A qué hora empieza la película? Entonces, usted va a contestar en presente simple. It starts at nine. Comienza a las nueve. ¿Ok? So... Son, son detallitos, pero en realidad que hay que aclararlos porque si no, después y uno se viene a dar cuenta de esos detalles hasta cuando está como ahí por casi llegando avanzado. Entonces, no, mejor desde ya. Uh, well, I think we're going to stop on here. Nos vamos a tener por acá. Mañana, pues, seguimos hablando de, del tema. Y les sugiero que se preparen muy bien para el día miércoles. El día jueves vamos con el, el examen final. Ese día, el día viernes, ya lo tienen que haber terminado, ¿ok? ¿Por qué? Porque prácticamente lo que se hace es un repaso de lo que se ha venido estudiando. Ustedes lo realizan, sacan su puntaje y ya luego pues hacemos como un repaso de, de los temas en sí. So, no questions? No comments? Are you sleepy? No, thank you, teacher. ¿Tienen sueño o nos vamos la otra hora con inglés? <laughs> no, Another time. Hey, let's see tomorrow. God bless Thank you. you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.